What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. So I just got out of a movie called The Black Phone directed by Scott Derrickson and starring Mason Thames and Ethan Hawke. It takes place in 1978. It's about a uh, child abductor who has a black van, leaves black balloons behind every time he abducts kids. He's abducting primarily young boys. Our main character, uh, Finney, is... I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'm not spoiling anything by saying he gets abducted and then um yeah pretty much we're just waiting for the ending at that point mm -hmm. um in the description of the movie it says he's clever a clever but shy he kind of is like a pushover at, at school doesn't stand up for himself that type of that type of character so he i mean he i guess he has a little bit of an arc but not really i mean you see that's it's an obvious arc and like this kid is you know, it, I just didn't get the vibe ever during the movie where things were going to get bad. Obviously, it's a dark subject matter, but that's it just uses that to kind of maybe keep the suspense and the scares going. There's a little bit of suspense here and there, but like I was never really, you know, I kind of knew where the movie was going. And... You know, it's a it's a mixture of if I was this comp combined like um, set movies, it's like it's a combination of Stranger Things, It, and The Lovely Bones. Except all three of those, especially the, only the first season of Stranger Things. I'm not talking about the other, the other stuff. It, the new It, and The Lovely Bones. Um, but those are all way better, and they're way better because there's a realness to them. Um, there's the kid Finney is getting supernatural assistance and that's the only reason he you know has any uh hope in the movie is because he's getting this uh supernatural help so he's like it says he's clever he's not really that clever like he's not he's only putting things together based on assistance he's getting without that assistance he's done like everybody else so i wasn't really impressed i was very bored um, and to me, that's the worst thing for a movie to commit, I mean, is to be boring. And I just kind of knew where it was going. It did these, like, little flashback scenes with, like, other abductions or whatever. And it looked, like, very grainy. It looked very 1978. That looked cool. But then they would turn to the modern thing, and it looked very contemporary. It looked very polished. Either stick to one, stick to one of the two things. Don't, don't tease me with, we can make it look like this and then make it look like that. I didn't really... Um, dig that, but yeah, it was just very boring. I kind of knew where it was going, um, you know, and, um, in a horror film, a thriller film, I like a little bit of ambiguity, none of that. Um, yeah, just overall very, not for me. I'm very surprised about how well this movie was reviewed on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it was like 90%, 80% for like critics, something like that, and I'm very surprised. I mean, if you like it, that's cool, but, um... Yeah, just to me a bad version of Stranger Things, It and the Lovely Bones, but what are you going to do? It's all right, um, but yeah, I wouldn't even say it's worth going to see. Ethan Hawke looks cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll, give some, I'll give some pluses. Ethan Hawke looks cool. He's kind of menacing um, as what's called, he's called the Grabber. Um, he looks cool. He's He's got some uh, energy that's kind of scary a little bit, but I wasn't, I wasn't really scared for the kid at any point and i should be scared for a kid who got abducted by a uh, lunatic thank you for joining me guys i will be back tomorrow with a uh mukbang but um yeah just not really impressed by the black phone whatever y'all doing please take it easy be well i will see y'all again soon later